Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kitty Cloudy, and this is the first video on the internet on the latest version of Paranoid Android 7.2.1 running on the Nexus 5. And well, yes, I was in a unique position to try this ROM out early before it was even released. So yeah, this is your exclusive first look on this ROM. Let's see what we have in store. Now the installation process was pretty simple and basic just with the exception of the fact that you need to install Pico G apps variant because the ROM is quite heavy on the system partition and you need to use Rider G apps. Just a heads up. The rest of the installation process is same as you would do with any other ROM. Now the new release brings minor updates and changes on top of what we had already which I discussed in my previous video with the Google Pixel uh, like we have OMS substratum support and we have a new color engine to replace the old signage mod theme engine but apart from that we have the classic stuff like button remapping, customization, the OG paranoid pie controls which is quite refreshing to use, still need to get used to it but it's really cool and aside from that we have this new feature called pocket lock which is a super handy useful feature which uses your proximity sensors to detect when it's in your pocket and it'll prevent accidental unlocks and stuff. Quite nifty in my opinion. Now the major change here is the new revamped very cool looking boot animation which you saw at the beginning of this video. That sweet sound though. <laughs> Our performance was really really smooth buttery smooth and Paranoid Android is quite famous for that stuff. Really fast, really snappy, great RAM management and since this ROM is CAF based, this was to be expected. Right from the boot times to the app opening times, everything was great and Paranoid Android gets a big old thumbs up for the stability. And battery life seemed to be on point as well. 3 to 3.5 three hours of screen on time at a stretch on a single charge with a day full of YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. Now I didn't find one single bug in this ROM which is really strange in a good way. Uh, there are occasional lags and freezes which is okay but my only small issue is that it'll be really good if you could uninstall the pre-installed AOSP apps because the Google alternatives are much better but the PA browser is really good. I don't hate it and same goes for the new music app Shuttle Plus exclusive on Paranoid Android but uh, since I stream my music I didn't really get around using it that often but it seems really cool. Now my overall opinion is from what I've come to realize is that Paranoid Android is a very different ROM approach. Like you might complain about the fact that it doesn't have the Pixel UI or the other ROMs have more features but it all comes down to one single word. The experience. Yes, it doesn't have the Pixel UI which means that it has its own unique and original user interface and experience. The smooth animations, color scheme, the on-the-spot controls, the really sweet wallpapers make the ROM feel simple, natural and elegant. And yes, it doesn't have tons of features but whatever features it has adds on to the experience in a very meaningful way. And that is why Paranoid Android is probably my favorite ROM on the Nexus 5 right now. Now answering the golden question, should you flash it? Well, if you want a stable, clean, smooth experience on your phone, definitely go for it. You will not regret installing it. But yeah, for me, I'll be having this loaded on my Nexus 5 until Android O comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.